Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we're gonna to be eating some very spicy ramen. They call it the killer ramen. This is actually the spiciest ramen in New Jersey. So I just <clears throat> flew in real late. We just got our car, and tomorrow morning, as the challenge is off for between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m., uh, we're gonna be heading to Q Ramen. Yes, Q Ramen, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. So this ramen is made with Carolina Reapers. Yes, Carolina Reaper peppers. So it's like their standard spicy ramen, and then they fortify it. So that's like, anytime there's those kinds of spicy peppers, that's like just, it's gonna be dangerous let's put it that way it's going to be very interesting um you do have nine minutes to complete the challenge the bowl and if you complete it you actually get free ramen for a week like a bowl a day so essentially upwards of seven bowls of ramen pretty cool the cost i think is about 17 dollars um but yeah i believe that's pretty much all the info like you said about nine minutes um available 11 to 6 monday to friday and free ramen and a wall of fame and a wall of fame and maybe a wall of shame but anyway i'll get you those details um but yeah that's pretty much that so uh definitely i guess maybe looking forward to this There's, i know there's some other ramen i, I kind of want to actually try out um heard this place is very 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 uh, delicious offering all kinds of different varieties of ramen um they're really big kind of in new york and that area and they're expanding so like i said let's head on over let's have some fun let's eat some food let's see what this is all about and uh yeah very spicy ramen fingers crossed wish us luck let's go eat all right so here i with the challenge the killer q ramen yes the killer q ramen so guys, this is, it, I, I gotta say though, it definitely has some real red tones to it. There's lots of chili oil in here, like a ton, a ton, a ton of chili oil. Um, this is the spiciest, yes, the spiciest ramen in New Jersey. And it is made with Carolina Reapers. So the Carolina Reapers are infused into their kind of house signature spicy sauce and their oil anyway, which they use on the normal spicy. But this, the killer version again is all the Reapers. So I'm not gonna lie, that's incredibly daunting. It smells spicy, but it does look delicious. I did try a couple of their bowls of other ramen, like the more normal ones that I'll put after this, uh, which you can you know watch me eat and enjoy because I didn't want to eat uh, this incredibly spicy ramen on an empty stomach. So yeah, pretty much nine minutes. Uh, we'll hopefully get that wall of fame. Hopefully we'll be able to beat this undefeated challenge. I like the price of the $16 buy. It makes it very, very affordable. Um, yeah, but we do have the ramen egg. You have the bamboo, corn, the uh, pork belly. Uh, scallions and all that good stuff. So I'm pretty much just stalling. So how about we get started here just momentarily. And so of course I can't actually drink during the challenge. So I'm gonna take a drink before I start. This is my San Pellegrino. I do like a good carbonated water. It was nice knowing you. And then um, they gave me a big glass of milk. They said, boy, you're gonna need it. A little scary, not gonna lie. And then they actually also then encouraged me to also get this taro smoothie and said, you're going to die. No, they didn't say that. I, that's my thoughts, that I'm going to die. That's it. There is no use stalling and no use talking anymore, guys. So let us rock and roll. Again, no drinks, nine minutes. If I die, it was nice knowing you, everybody. So how about we get started? We'll say at the count of, maybe I'll start with this uh, pork belly. Man, I love, this pork belly is so soft. Yeah. All right, have, uh, uh, restaurant's ready? I'm ready. So how about we get started, we'll say at the count of five, four, three, Two, one, let's eat. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is delicious. And that is starting to get hot. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna try to get everything off the top first, and then dive into those noodles. Oh boy, that's hot. Okay. <coughs> oh man, hot damn it. Yeah, this is uh, <coughs> oh my God, Woo. Wow, okay, I am burning, holy crap. Um, fork action it is. Woo, holy jump it. Woo. Woo. OK. 
Okay, the uh... Ooh. Oh man. Ooh. Okay. I was not expecting that. Okay. Wow. That is uh, that is hot. Oh boy, that is a man. I uh, I can say my gut is. Uh, I don't know why I feel it in my gut so much. Holy crap! Okay, this I'm not looking forward to. Guys, there's so much spicy oil in this broth. Oh. Pray for me. Whew. All right, ready? Let's go. Uh. Oh man. Ooh, that oil. Oh. Oh man. Is that left? Was that counting down? So, uh, I think, what, four minutes, 23 seconds, something like that? Holy crap, everybody. Or three minutes, three minutes, 23 seconds? I don't know. Anyway, guys, that is definitely hot. I definitely feel that. My, uh, man, my lips are absolutely burning. I feel like they've grown about six times the size. Man, that is so hot in the stomach. Wow, talk about warming. They said that would warm you up. That would warm you up on a cold winter's day. I tell you that, I think honestly, I could probably have that on a cold winter's day and not wear a jacket. That is insane. And they do get cold winters here in New Jersey. Wow. That was, uh, that was hot. That was a lot. It's, I'm still burning here. I'm burning my gut. I'm like I'm trying definitely not to like overreact or anything. I'm trying to be really like cool, calm, and collected. And I will say it's quite shocking. Like that definitely wakes you up in the freaking morning. That was a uh, hot, especially to finish that broth. Wow, that was uh, that was spicy. Wow. Um, but yeah, key ramen guys. Um, that was hot. I will say it still did taste really good. But you gotta I tune into where I tried the other ones because those were you those were some. Real good flavors. Um, whew. Wow, yeah, just like remembering to breathe right now is pretty good. But uh, yeah, guys, um, so we completed it, which is pretty cool. Um, so huge thank you to all the staff. I really do appreciate them uh, having this challenge. Uh, definitely is really supportive. This is hot, very, very hot. Um, but I did enjoy it, like I said. Uh, it's a nice size too, it's not massive. It's just a shot of freaking like spice, so that is for sure. So uh, New Jersey Spiciest Ramen Guys is now defeated, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's about that. If you guys wanna do the challenge, uh, again, it's uh, available, like I think it's Monday to Friday, and then during the day, um, they have some restrictions, just give them a call. And uh, whew, that was spicy. Definitely, definitely, definitely spicy, but it still had good flavor, which I really enjoy. So, with that, everyone, until next time, I actually may try a sip of this. This is, uh, this might be a little refreshing, I gotta say, this might be a good idea, so. Holy, wow! Man, woo, that is, uh, that is delicious. Taro smoothie. I mean, heck, 
spice or not? This is where it's at. Woo! I tell you, that actually make you forget the spice right away. That is... <laughs> no, there's the spice. That was good, though. I thought it was gone. It came back with a vengeance. But, yeah, like I said, everybody, real good place. Q Ramen, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Um, from my understanding, the challenge is only available at this location. But, uh, yeah, guys, till next time, like I said, stay happy, have a hungry, happy eating. And uh, that was a bit. So, huge thanks to everybody here. I already said that. So, have a lovely day. Flashback. Hi, everybody. So, I did get a couple different bowls to start, and they all look delicious. These are all the um, classics, favorites. Like I said, I do want a little bit of food in my stomach before I eat something really spicy. So, I have the favorite. This is the tonkatsu with the soyu broth, um, which looks delicious. So, we got pork belly, corn, uh, we got bamboo, we have a seaweed, of course, a delicious looking ramen egg. I then have the chicken, this chicken is also a favorite. So this is a chicken broth instead of a 40 hour cooked pork bone broth. Yeah, 40 some hours, that's nuts. Um, chicken, ramen egg, delicious bamboo, corn, seaweed as well. Of course, the ramen noodles. And then this is a really cool thing. I've never seen this before. This is a split bowl. So I literally have two different kinds of ramen here. So I have um, a uh, spicy uh, tonkatsu. And then this side I have the uh, Sapporo miso, um, which has shrimp, radish, um, where they have eggs and all that good stuff. So, like I said, I'm literally just gonna give these a shot. I just wanna try them. I will say though, guys, some of my favorite broths here. So let's give this a bite. And then we'll get eating some spicy. So I'm gonna try this uh, chicken first, probably. So I gotta say this chicken looks delicious. It's like barbecue flavor. Got some bamboo. Nice and marinated seasoned. Mix this up, get some of those ramen noodles in there. You know, I like that chicken. It's a nice light flavor. Try the broth. You know, it's actually really good with the sweetness of that corn. A little bit of that seaweed, that saltiness. And what's really cool, they have all these additions on the table. Like this is called a sauerkraut pepper. Ooh, smells really good. Put a big dollop of that in there. I'm just gonna try a bite. Mm. Ooh, that is spicy. All right. Anyway, chicken. Ooh. I like it. Next we have the tonkatsu. This is the pork belly. Again, this is their most well-known one. This is some really nice looking pork belly. It looks super tender. They did uh, like torch it a little bit. So we'll try that. Mm. Woo! Everybody. So rich, melt in your mouth. Wow, okay. I see why that is a favorite. This broth, oh man, so rich, almost like creamy, that soy. Mm. Oh man, that is nice. It's uh, definitely like some really, real richness to that, nice fattiness. The way they cook that broth down, guys, you can tell it has been slow simmered. All the flavors of the bones. Hot damn, that is delicious. A little bit of scallions. So fresh. Here I got some, some sashimi togarashi. Try the spice again, deck that out. Man, these are dishes on the table. And a whole other dynamic. This is awesome. 10 out of 10. I would recommend this tonkatsu. Ooh, and that ramen egg. Hell right. All right, last but not least, one I wanted to try, guys. So we got the spicy tonkatsu. This will be a, uh, a little bit of an awakening as we get ready for the, oh, thank you so much, for the spice. So try this spicy pork belly. Oh man, guys, that was even better than the first time. I love, love, love that pork belly. So rich.
Man, that is good. Try this corn, the ramen. Great, great, great pepper. Oh man, that is good. The, um, the kind of seasoning they use, it's like a house seasoning they add to it. Mm. Get bits of that chili. Try some of the seaweed. This is a keeper. I can see like the bit of the chili oil in it. A little bit of heat to that. A little bit of heat. But definitely nice and rich. Again, a little bit of that corn in there. The sweet corn, great addition. And let's try this Sapporo ramen. So I have the uh, the radish on here. Try this here. Ooh, so the flavor profile that is so much different. It's not creamy like this one. It's definitely spicier. Definitely got some good heat in that. Mm. That soft yolk, man, that is good. We have some tempera shrimp. Mm. Wow, the way that soaked up that broth. Oh yeah, okay, this one's spicier. It's a lot smoother. I almost get like a, Something's kind of refreshing in it. It's light and refreshing. Whereas this one's a lot heavier, but like so delicious. Shout out the broths. Anyway, I'm gonna pick at these some more, and then uh, I think we'll get, be good to get started on the killer ramen, so. Okay, and one more thing that they said I have to try, it's called amu rice. So it's like an omelet, which is uh, cut over a bed of rice. Then they have a demi-glaze they put on it and it's served with a, a pork tonkatsu, like a deep fried pork. So we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, it's a bit of a show, so I can't wait to see it and uh, we'll get eaten here just momentarily. Cool, so that was super interesting to see. Like I said, it literally is the omelet just like flapped open. I have never seen something like that. Like we have the demi-glaze, they, uh, I will say, they. they they are very skilled at cutting these eggs. It was so delicate. And uh, yeah, I have this great big spoon. So I'll try a bite of this. So yeah, like it's an omelet, which looks really good. I'm assuming this demi glaze is gonna be really rich, but let's find out. Oh, I did get some rice in there too. Wow. So the demi glaze almost reminds me like a brown gravy, the rice. It's like a fried rice. I see we got some pork. I have some peas, some uh, corn. Good fried rice. I get a little bit almost like five spice in it. Now this omelet is absolutely melting your mouth. Mm. I gotta say, it is such a nice, like, egg yolk creamy texture again with that demi glaze on it i do like that i do like that definitely that demi glaze is pretty pretty strongly flavored let me try this uh some katsu here this pork looks delicious a deep fried cutlet Wow, great tempura batter, super soft. I wanna try this with the egg. It's a little bit of everything. Oh, thank you. So I got some egg, got some pork. Go over this bite right here. Delicious combo. All right. Guys, it doesn't stop. Things just keep getting better. <laughs>